Okay. Our next activity is to draw an angle measuring 140 degrees and then bisect that angle. Now, the first thing you need to do is think 140 degrees, what type of angle is that? Well, it's over 90 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. So, if it's going to be greater than 90 degrees, we're going to end up having an angle that looks something like that. We wouldn't have an angle that looks like this. That's an acute angle, okay? So, we don't want an acute angle, we want an obtuse angle. So, the first thing we need to do is take a ruler. Now take, because that's a straight edge, now we need to draw a line segment, which is going to become one arm of the angle. I'm actually going to take that line segment and just move it over. Now we can take a ruler away. Now we take our protractor and we can put the protractor at any end, the left or right end of that line segment. I'm going to go to the left. And we're going to take the protractor, the crosshair of the protractor, which is going to go on top of what is going to become the vertex of our angle, where the two arms meet. So I'm just going to move that protractor so that my crosshair lines up with the end of the line segment. And now I'm going to look at my protractor. Here's 90 degrees. I know I need to be greater than that, so it's going to be over 90. So I'm going to be using the inner numbers. And I want an angle that measures 140 degrees. Here's 140 degrees. I'm going to put a small dot above 140 degrees. I'm going to move my protractor. I'm going to take my ruler, or flat edge, and I'm going to line up my ruler with the dot I drew and the vertex of the angle I'm creating. I'm now going to draw a straight line going from the new vertex, going through the dot that is indicating 140 degrees. Now I can take my ruler and I can just shrink that. I don't need that at the moment. Right over here. Now I have an angle that measures 140 degrees. That's the first part done. Now what I need to do is I need to bisect that angle. To bisect an angle is is where you take an angle and you make two congruent angles that are the same. So 140, if you're bisecting by meeting two, you're dividing 140 by two, which gives you 70 degrees. So you bring your protractor back, put the crosshairs of your protractor onto the vertex of your angle, making sure that your lower arm is lined up along the zero degree line of the protractor. Taking your marker again, or a pencil, putting a dot above 70 degrees, moving your protractor, or you can use the flat edge of your protractor. And I'm going to put that so that the straight edge goes through the vertex of my angle and the dot that I drew to indicate 70 degrees. And now I draw a straight line from the vertex out through the dot. And now if I was to take my protractor and once again measure that angle, it should be on 70 degrees, which it is. I move my protractor. I make a notation that I have a 70 degree angle here a 70 degree angle here, and now I have bisected the angle.